Very good evening, dearest friends. Uh, my voice is a little bit down, so I hope you can hear what I'm saying. And it is now that I cannot ohm. So if there comes any ohms, please do you there at home loud and, <clears throat> and I am just doing silent ohms. Did you want to say something, Michael? Oh, sorry. Eeks. <laughs> I heard you. Okay. <laughs> sorry about that, but everybody. I, yeah. I my mic open. Yeah. So this is the, uh, the second day uh, after full moon. And uh, I think it was very powerful moment again. And um, we uh, had here in, in Europe night, and it was just very magical last night because it, the moon was very bright and the, we have a lot of snow at the moment. So the, there is this particular uh, blue light everywhere and uh, you could really see see through uh, in the forest the way that uh, they were like shadows and it's um, just a wonderful time during the winter time when we have uh, full moons um, yeah my voice uh, there I think there was a potter the <clears throat> Uh, maybe I got a little bit, but I I was also singing a lot, <laughs> and I think that that is together the reason. I would like to remind you that if you would like to really start to follow your insights uh, and have a notebook available when we are uh, creating those mottos uh, for the uh, for the coming month. And um, it actually gives you a lot of understanding how the soul is working. What is this whole um, message throughout the year? Uh, if you have not been starting, so in one sense, it, uh, in Capricorn is good time to start. Um, but then, of course, when we think about the whole spiritual year, uh, the spiritual year starts in Aries and so that in a few months again we will start another cycle but um, just a hint for you if you would if you have not started it um, I was just looking those mottos throughout the last year and uh, I got actually a lot of out of it so just a reminder. Okay, let us start our work now and again think about Capricorn, how it is the, uh, the energy which is behind the group progress, the law of group progress, which belongs to the esoteric law of uh, law of elevation. Uh, Tipton says, the name law of group progress is the phrase given by human beings to a particular type of energy which is producing the coherence of units in a group, thus forming them into one living organism. The recognitions eventuating are those of group affinity, group objective and group goal. It is in the last analysis the emergence into the subjective consciousness of the same type of energy which produces that aspect of cohesive action which demonstrates as tribal, national or racial unity. Uh, it's interesting to think about this uh, in these terms. And uh, what actually is the group progress. I think Capricorn, those who are those uh, goats which are on the mountains, are giving us a very good 
idea about that what does it mean uh, how the group is progressing because uh, the skills that they are developing on jumping on the rocks is amazing and i think you have been seeing those images like here we have that uh, they are jumping there uh, and on the cliff cannot be um, or on the rock there can be only just a few inches um, space where they can fit their legs and they can jump for meters and very sharply um, uh, stepping their steps there. I think it is just unbelievable. So Tibetan continues. The work of this group, like ours, and of other groups similarly motivated, is to achieve these undertakings together. Together, this is very important what he says now, together to, to face the dweller and triumph, together to arrive at understanding, together to stand before the presence because the angel's light reveals that which the eye has never seen, together to walk the path of revelation, together to serve and together to aid the faltering steps of humanity, the world aspirant. Let us now align with this whole idea of doing together, working together, and what it really, really means.
I think there is a lot to um, understand and also to be aware of that every single day, how the time is now gone to this moment of evolution for humanity that we are supposed to work as a group. Uh, earlier it was the individual, those brave ones who were paving the uh, path for all of us. And now we are supposed to uh, do these group efforts in order to help the whole humanity. Each of you together initiates the activity for which the group is responsible and for which you have been brought together. Interesting thing to think about. Each of you initiates himself into the presence through the medium of the angel and into the shadow of the dweller on the threshold. Through this process, full consciousness is achieved. Capricorn covers the third initiation of a transfiguration in which the soul reveals its beauty, truth and goodness within the disciple. In overcoming the limitations of the personality, the disciple demonstrates the light and wisdom and strength of a higher state of consciousness. So let us again try to imagine what it is when the group is standing before the angel of presence and actually will do its um, most important duty, the dharma of that particular time. And me, we may think about that, that on 25, we all are facing uh, a great opportunity. The hierarchy is gathering together and also the time of the forerunner is ending. Let us uh, for a moment again align with these coming years and trying deeper and deeper ways and more sharply see what are those things, what are now needed to be done and how this energy of uh, Capricorn is helping us in that.
I think it is very interesting to think about that how we are living that kind of life that we have uh, two great events happening in our lives when we think about spiritual life and the soul in incarnation. We have the era of the forerunner, which is a very particular type of uh, era. Um, if you think that 2000 years ago, there was that moment when the John the Baptist was walking on earth and was um, the pioneering spirit for that, uh, but only one person, individual. But now we are as a, as a group, those uh, forerunners, and that uh, era is ending in our during our lives, this incarnation, and also that we are going to leave at that time when the centennial conclave of the hierarchy is taken place, which is a huge thing. And why it is also very, very huge thing is that it is said that then the Christ himself is going to decide when is that moment when he is coming into physical appearance. Even though um, in the Bible it is said that only, only um, Father knows that moment. Uh, so, however, that is going to be technically, we don't know, but that is what Tibetan says, that then it is going to be decided. And uh, when, when you think, who would have been expecting this kind of things happening on Earth, uh, those uh, big uh, sicknesses, or this whole pandemic thing, well, the, the climate change has been for years already. Some information about that, but uh, how fast it is um, going further than the war, um, the things which are happening in the United States and other countries. There are so many things that uh, this is telling about the end of the certain energies and time uh, and how it's going to be after 25. So in that sense, uh, we should be aware of that and really work within us that we are able to bring the group into a stronger, stronger place and make sure that we will have all the time deeper and deeper contact, connection with the Christ and with hierarchy. So in, in Capricorn, we are able to reach some kind of heights. If we are not reaching in this life, the big initiation, but certainly we are having those smaller initiations on the way. And we are supposed to stand in some kind of evaluating place, which is elevated. And uh, the understanding is reached. A greater understanding and also some wisdom. We absolutely should be able in the end of our lives to reveal. So let us now turn in in that uh, in this particular time of the full moon that we just had and how we as a group we are those uh, distributors, transmitters of the energies.
imagine that you are standing on the top of the mountain. And the energies which are now pouring and especially which was then at the moment of the full moon which are still descending And as we were together visiting Master DK's workroom and working deeply together, so I can now be aware of the group and how these energies are supposed to be work through the group for the lower kingdoms. We have the word for today, which is registration. Facilitate the growing realization of the group's accomplishment by adopting an inner attitude of registration by the mind. of that which group soul has sought to impress at the moment of attempted and achieved contact during the full moon. Well, so we register that and we are aware of that, how the group soul was working during the moment of the full moon and how this contact was achieved. We become more and more aware of the group presence. Again, learn to recognize the quality of the group. And recognizing this inner work which is done by the group brothers and sisters, building the chalice of consciousness. We place indigo blue rose as the sign of our inner work upon the altar. And in Capricorn, it is interestingly so that it is the earth element is the birthplace of the spirit. And it is called the altar of earth. So we place upon the altar of earth the indigo rose wherever we are. As the sign 
of the sacred work. Aligning with our triangle members. And being aware of this golden network of triangles around the planet, seeing the Christ standing in the center. Again, we align with this beautiful pattern and planet Venus, Sri Lakshmi, that pattern which is completed during the eight years by the conjunction of Venus, Earth and the Sun. the five-petal rose, the sacred symbol of the mother, or five-pointed star. Visualize the five-pointed star above the group, the star of initiation. Pouring the light of initiation, indigo blue light. See in the center appearing the indigo blue rose. which is starting to rotate faster and faster and creates the indigo blue disc. A sacred door within. You are standing before that inner door. Align with that what is behind the door. Walk through that door. You come 
into the sacred, sacred chapel, your inner chapel of silence. In that sacred space, before your eyes appears, indigo blue lotus flower of 108 petals. Every petal indicating a, a special, particular divine power spiritual power and its Sanskrit name is manifesting that power which is also the antidote against one of the 108 sins you are standing upon one of the petals as your brothers and sisters are standing as well. Everyone sounding their own sacred name. Those virtues are building this chalice, chalice of consciousness upon the mental plane. This chalice is going to be given to Christ on 2025 in our particular ceremony. For today, we will continue with the name of Lokamatri, Mother of the Universe. we sound 108 times our sacred names and Lokamatri. So let us sound now 108 times. Stop. 
Let us sound one ohm. And aligning with this, the month from earlier full moon to this full moon, I reflect those um, teachings that you have had. What did you learn during this past period? It is said, the hierarchy waits with patience the fruition of its efforts after doing all that can be done on all planes. Full moon time is the one of hierarchic's moment of cooperation with humanity by your disciples. Tibetan says, I would ask you to make a careful record every full moon from two days before until the two days after the full moon of all experiences and visions. So when we have also a reflecting, registering all that we have learned during the earlier period, so also we have to register all these experiences and visions which are now passing through our consciousness. Let us have a silent moment for this particular full moon. Register the contact with your soul. And all of those impulses and visions which are now passing during this time of the full moon. These are extremely important. You can write those down in your notebook. And we also now reflect the motto for the coming period, the coming month. It is your own statement for the coming month. Tibetan says, after being used for one clear month by you, so that the most distant members of the group receive its effect. So this motto is like uh, 
magical tool, talisman in one sense, to be used for service, something which holds you on the track and empowers your co-workers. Reflect now in your deepest cave of your heart where you meet the Christ and listen what your soul whispers, what guides you in the service of humanity under the influence of the Christ. So let us now have a few minutes of silence and reflect this what it could be for you and write it down to your notebook. Great invocation from the point of light within the mind of God. Let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God. Let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ returns to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center, which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. And please sound now three times all.
and let us now have our blessings. Let us bless our sisters. I bless you, my beloved sisters, the mothers of the Christ. Let us bless our brothers. I bless you, my beloved brothers, the protectors of the Christ. May the blessings of the Holy Ones rest upon the worlds, all the kingdoms of nature. Thank you, dearest friends. Many, very many blessings to all of you. Tomorrow we are not going to have uh, the um, program, but remember to continue by your own and uh, still work with your motto if you want. And uh, remember that it does not have to be words. It can be something else. It can be simple. It can be color, um, whatever comes to you. And uh, the way that you rehearse with that during the coming month, that it becomes powerful talisman. So thank you, thank you so much. And um, very powerful full moon time to everybody. Let us be aligned and work strongly together for, for humanity, to our brothers and sisters. So bye-bye now from Finland.